Suppose you wanted to discover the x-coordinate of a maximum of a function over a specified interval. The calculator can do this using the fmax command. The command has the following input structure. You select fmax from the math menu, type in the function, the variable, the left endpoint, and the right endpoint. Suppose we wish to discover the x-coordinates of the maximum values of negative x to the fourth plus x squared over the interval negative 10 to 10. The fmax command can be used to determine only one possible maximum value. If your function has multiple maximum values, it would be best to use the graph and determine the maximums that way. So we select math, we scroll down until we have fmax, we go ahead and type in our function, negative x to the fourth plus x squared, type in the variable, and type in the lower bound, negative 10, and then the upper bound, positive 10. Notice it found only one x-coordinate of a maximum value. This particular graph has multiple maximum values, and it finds the first one as it progresses through the interval from the left endpoint to the right endpoint. To find any other maximum values, we need to change the left endpoint of the interval and then rerun the command. So we'll go ahead and select math. And we'll scroll down until we select fmax. Go ahead and type in our function again. And tell it the variable. And this time I'm going to tell it to begin the interval at the left endpoint of my previous calculation and run up to the right endpoint again, positive 10. And in this case, I get a value of approximately 0 0.707. So we have found another x-coordinate for a maximum. We may keep progressing in this fashion until all x-coordinates of the maximum values have been found. So if we hit second and enter, we can recall the previous input and then hit enter again. Here we get a repeat of the previous results almost. So we can pretty much be assured that there really aren't any more maximum values for this particular function between negative 10 and 10. Now let's take a look at the graph to see if this is true. So we hit y equals and we type in our function, negative x to the fourth plus x squared. We'll go ahead and put it on a standard window. And we see that we can't really see what's going on, so we'll zoom in right at the origin. And here we can see that we have two bumps. So it appears that we have two maximum values, and the maximum values have x coordinates of plus or minus square root of 2 over 2 exactly. And our calculator uh, approximates these values fairly well. And this is how you can use the fmax command to answer questions about the x-coordinates of maximum values.